Suspects on the loose tonight after two overnight homicides. Our Lynn Kawano reports on the search for leads in both killings. There are surveillance videos from the crime scenes that Honolulu police were working to recover this morning. About 2.45 in the morning at a Waikiki bus stop on Kuhio Avenue, Honolulu police say five men in their 20s and 30s started beating a 21-year-old man who worked in the area. The victim was able to get up and run away from the five males heading Malka on Seaside Avenue. From there, he went behind this 2240 Kuhio Avenue and they pursued him. All five males were seen beating him, physically assaulting him with a blunt type of weapon. EMS treated and transported the man to a hospital where he died. The five attackers got away. It's the third murder in Waikiki this year. Hours after that fatal beating, on the windward side, a 77-year-old security officer was stabbed at the windward shopping center. The suspect approached him while he was seated in his vehicle and stabbed him multiple times and then fled on foot towards Kaneohe Bay Drive. Never seen anything like this before. Elizabeth Fontania frequently visits the shopping center and was shocked to learn about the early morning violence. It's very safe. I've never heard of anything happening here. Arguments once in a while, but not anything big. If you have any information that can help police, call Crime Stoppers at 955-8300. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.